So the planet Mandalore was originally united a thousand years before this show by a Jedi named Tar Vizsla who wielded the Darksaber, and the saber is a symbol of Mandalorian leadership. After his death, the Mandalorians wrecked their planet fighting civil wars for centuries, so the survivors became pacifists. But a warrior sect called Death Watch conquered the planet with the help of Darth Maul and Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan then won a civil war against Darth Maul, and the Empire took over the planet, set it on fire, and then stole its best car. Years later, Din Djarin won the Darksaber from Bo-Katan, making him the rightful leader of the planet. Now, there are are at least two important factions in this show. There's the hardcore warriors led by the armor, and they probably once followed Darth Maul, judging by the horns on her helmet. And here we see a faction of the Mandalorians also led by Bo-Katan. This pauldron is from House Eldar, which swore loyalty to her in the show Rebels. And now Bo-Katan will fight to reclaim Mandalore from the Empire, but then the Mandalorians will turn on each other to win the Darksaber and the throne. And I think that Grogu will end up winning this battle. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for the whole video.